Good day. So today, I'm just going to talk about the earthquake that happened here in Mindanao, Philippines. Okay, it's April 29, 2017. Um, at 4.23 in the morning, a magnitude 7.2 earthquake hit southwest or 53 kilometers southwest of Sarangani town in Davao Occidental. Now, intensity 5 was felt in mostly in Sox region area especially here in General Santo City where I live and some parts in Davao Occidental. Um, a tsunami alert was first issued right after the quake okay, that happened early in the morning where everybody was alarmed because everybody was awakened by this uh, strong intensity. Okay, although it was magnitude 7.2 but the depth of this earthquake is 57 kilometers. The first waves that was recorded, that's why this tsunami advisory was issued by the Philippine Volcanology and Seismology. Right now, the first of the waves um, arrived sometime between 4.28 a.m. and 5.23 a.m. But later, around 7 a.m., uh, FIVOX or Philippine Volcanology and Seismology canceled the tsunami advisory as it is only 10 centimeters in height. Okay, and there were 14 aftershocks, by the way, um, that was recorded uh, as of now. Okay, the strongest aftershock was at 4.54 a.m. That was magnitude 4.1. Damages reported here in General Santo City, mainly in the downtown part, um, like the shopping malls, the city hall, there was also this establishment in the public market where an old building collapsed. Okay, so that's it. Now, I will help you understand about these terms. Uh, what are magnitude, what are intensity, how are they different, and what is this depth? Why do we have a 7.2 magnitude earthquake but it's not as powerful or as strong or as destructive as the magnitude 7.2 that happened in Bohol last 2013. Okay, they are the same, 7.2 magnitude. Let's first discuss about magnitude and intensity. Magnitude is the size of the earthquake, okay? While the intensity is how strong the earthquake is felt. All right, so that's basically the difference, the size and how strong it is felt. For example, we have a magnitude 7.2, but the intensity will vary based on the depth. Okay, so the, the deeper the earthquake, the lesser the destruction. But the shallower the earthquake or the depth, okay, the stronger the earthquake or the intensity. That's why places near the epicenter has the greater intensity than places farther than the epicenter, of course. Now, uh, why do the earthquake here in uh, Mindanao uh, lesser than the earthquake in Bohol in 2013? Because in Bohol earthquake, um, yes, it is 7.2 magnitude, but the depth is 12 kilometers. So basically, it's nearer the surface um, of the earth. So that's why they experience intensity 8 or higher. By the way, intensities are described as strong, very strong, de uh, destructive, very destructive, and devastating. Okay, so for intensity 5, we have strong. So all the cities in Mindanao, in General Santa City, in the South Surgeon area, in the uh, South Cotabato, um, Sultan Kudarat, Sarangani, occidental they experience a strong intensity 5 if it's intensity 6 it's very strong intensity 7 is destructive intensity 8 is very destructive okay when if, when we say very destructive um, people will be or will find it difficult to walk or to stand at least but in intensity 5 earlier yeah it's very hard to walk but we were able to get out of the house Many sleeping people were awakened by the earthquake, so that's a strong one, but lesser destruction than the 7.2 
in Bohol, which was in intensity uh, 8. Okay, we only have intensity 5. Okay, so now you know um, what is magnitude and intensity and depth.